Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. If you get the chance and you're so inclined, please hit that subscribe button down below the video there. Um, if you hit the bell notification icon, it'll notify you when I release new videos. It'll also notify you when I go live. And most importantly, it'll help me get my video allegedly seen by more people that don't get a chance to see it. Um, expose it to new audiences so I'd appreciate it if you guys have the time and are inclined to subscribe to the channel and today we've got an unboxing from Rivers Edge Cutlery I'm just going to get into it using the uh, Jacob Creates Magna Cut Chickadee to get into it So, River's Edge Cutlery, I was on their website over the weekend, Friday or Saturday, and came across a little knife, I know, I know, um, that I just kind of dug. Um, I've got the full-size version, and this is the Giant Mouse atelier the atelier um, is really just a fancy name for the giant mouse mini ace grand little swag comes in there with little care instructions um, from giant mouse congratulations on your purchase blah 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 and then a little canvas bag I don't remember that coming out before There's that, and there is the knife, guys. This is the Ace Atelier, however you want to say it. Um, and it looks very much like the Ace Grand. Give me two seconds. I used to have an Ace Grand that was green. Uh, micarta like this, um, L Max blade like this, uh, that I actually traded to Brother Dark Gravity because he really wanted one and um, he had something that I wanted. But let's just look at the size difference and the stylistic similarities between the Atelier and the Ace Grand. Again, this is the knife, uh, St. Nick's Knives Exclusive in Vandis Tool Steel. And then this is the Atelier, or the what I'm going to consider the Ace Grand Mini, in a really nice um, micarta. I believe this micarta is an upset from the, or better micarta than the micarta I had on mine, um, my original Ace Grand. It's got the nice half in or half body backspacer titanium that comes all the way around with an incorporated doodad hole wire clip which will also take a lynch clip snappy detent it's a flipper only or flicker only Let's see how sharp she is out of the box. What, what can I get a handy dandy coupon out? There we go. Guys, I like the feel of the little knife. I can already tell you it is slicey. Take 
closer look at this. So we have got a satin Ilmax clip point blade with a nice deployment hole. It's got that classic giant mouse jimping right in the right place, right where you fall under that little poon. I can't get really any choke up here. I can get up on the actual um, front of the scale if I want to, but I probably don't want to. There's not really any need, but this knife feels like it would be good in a lot of different grips. Let's see how it goes in and out of pocket. I've been carrying that knife a lot, guys. Goes in and out of pocket great. Got a nice little sharpening choil here. Um, you can see where that plunge terminates. And you can see what I've got in a little bit of plunge grind here. Put several good edges on that knife. Um, access to the lock bar is very good. I think it's better than the access to the Grand, or at least the G10 Grand. Um, there's no cutout on the side here, but the way that uh, Giant Mouse does it is they jimp the top of that lock bar there titanium lock bar and it makes it really easy to slide back into place whoops i just hit my hand and y'all see that i didn't stab it though that was not a knife flick d10 issue that was a hitting javon's thumb and earlier in the unboxing no one saw it because i was so sly by putting this band-aid on but i sliced myself with kyle coonley's edge on my little chickadee that i got from lefty but guys, this is the Giant Mouse um, Atelier, or the Mini Grand. For me, it is a very good feeling in hand knife. I am having a little buyer's remorse, a little regret um, that I'm going to quickly get over because I've got to remind myself how much I like my Carta, that I was looking for a replacement for the one that I traded away to Dark Gravity. Um, in a different style, but with the same blade steel, the same configuration, where my remorse comes in just a little bit is had I thrown 70 more dollars at this knife from River's Edge Cutlery, I could have picked up the full tie. And when I was first looking at the full tie, I thought it was just smooth tie. And then when I saw it up close, I see that it's got very nice milling patterns. Um, so guys, this knife, the Atelier is available, if I'm not mistaken, um, don't quote me on it. I'll link it in the video where I got it, which was um, River's Edge Cutlery. I want to say this one was $215, and then I want to say the full tie is $275 or $285. So I think it was $70 difference, which in hindsight, again, for mill titanium scales, I probably would have been fine going with that. Um, I do like all tie knives, but then I like having kind of a mixture in my collection, having stuff that's a little bit different, that's a little bit, you know, not all not all tie. Although, I'll be honest with you, I kind of wish I'd thrown the extra cash at it and gotten tie. But guys, that is the Atelier, which looking at it right next to, if I had my old uh, canvas micarta Elmax grand you would see that these knives are really almost identical except for the size let's see if we've got t8 on the clip T8 on the pivot, T6 on these three body screws. I don't know why a giant mouse does that, but they do it on the full size too. You know, what are you gonna do? Try not to strip them out. But um, again, these knives, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm one of the lucky ones who got a good biblio. So now my giant mouse collection, my box collection has really grown. I've got um, the Grand, I've got now the uh, Atelier, I've got the Biblio, I've got the Jutland, 
and I've got the little Vox Dapper. It's not really a giant mouse, but I kind of put it in the same class. And I will do a video when I do a long-term overview on this knife. I've still got to do a long-term overview on the Grand, give you my thoughts on it. And it'll be kind of a ramble because there are things about the G10 uh, Vanis Grand that I really like. Um, and then again, part of me kind of wishes that I'd held on to my Ilmax, but I got a great knife out of it and it went to a great home. And if I ever really wanted it back, which I don't, all I'd have to do is ask Dark Gravity. He's a solid human being. He'd trade me back, but that would be petty. And I would never do that because again, I would not have traded the knife had I not, um, you know, thought it was a good deal and something I wanted. And I've got a killer full tie knife that I got for it and stoked i'm just going on a ramble now guys so get back to what matters this is the mini grand which is actually the atelier in green canvas which is also available in full tie these are out now you can find them now you can buy them now it is compatible from what i can tell with the lynch clip um their spider co replacement wire clip it is, to me, I think it's going to be a perfect size knife. I think it's going to get a lot of pocket time. I like the action. I like the look. Um, really stoked about it. Guys, again, if you're so inclined, please hit the subscribe button below. I'd love to have you be a you know part of the channel and know when I do go live. And it does kind of selfishly help me have more people get exposed to my content to see if they like it or not. And guys, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. When disagreements, it's always good to choose debate over hate. I love you all. Till we meet again. Peace.